going to teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube. What you're going to want to do first is make sure that the yellow center is face up. Then what you want to do is you want to make this look like a daisy, meaning the center of a daisy is yellow and a daisy has white petals. So you're going to want white here, white here, white here, and white here on the edges. The edges are the center pieces. Not exactly the center, but the center pieces around the center. Do you get what I mean? So, I'm going to do that now. So, it'll look something like that, except most of you won't have that flap there. Sorry about that. And then, what you want to do is go to a white spot right here and look at the color that it is. Mine is red, so I will turn it to the red center. Once the red is matching to the red, you're going to turn it twice. So then it'll be on the bottom uh, where the white side is. And you're going to do that with the same with all the others that have a white spot on top. You're going to match it to its color and you'll turn it twice. White on top, green matching to orange, so we'll have the green matching to the green, and we'll turn it twice. Now the last one, same thing, white, orange is matching to red, so we'll turn it to orange, and we'll turn it twice. So now we have those four pieces on the bottom. So now what you're going to do is you're going to look for a white piece either here or here. This one's blue and this one's red, so we're not going to use those. This one's orange and this one's white, so we'll use this one. So we're going to look directly to the next side of, it, of the white and it's blue. And the blue is diagonally matched to the orange, so we want it to diagonally match to the blue. Now it's matched to the blue. So what we're going to do here is, since it's on your left side, well it's on my left side, you're going to bring that side up, turn it like that, and bring it back down. What that does is it brings that piece to the bottom. Now we're going to look for another white piece and do the same thing. We have a white piece here and to the side of it we have red diagonally matching to blue. So we're going to turn it so it's diagonally matching to red. And again it's on the left side so we're going to bring it up, bring it back around and back down. Now we're going to do it again have a white piece and green matching to red so we're going to match it to green. It's on the left side, bring it up, round, back down. Now right here I don't have any pieces on corners on the top. I have it on the bottom. What you're going to do here is you're going to bring it up turn it once, bring it back down. Now it'll be on the top. And what you'll do here is you'll make sure to bring it over a spot where there is no white piece. So right there that's yellow. In case you can't see that's not white. This is on my camera it looks kind of white. So now we have the white here and on the white side it's right above the piece that's yellow. So we're going to bring it up around twice and back down. So now it's on the corner. So we're going to look to the side and that's green matching to red. So we're going to match it to the green. We're going to bring it up around and back down. So now we've solved the whole white side. 
now, uh, uh, also we have solved the first layer of every color. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look for a piece on the top that is not yellow and piece on the uh, face that's not yellow, meaning the edge. This is an edge right here, this piece. These are corners. This is obviously the center. So this is yellow, so we can't use that. This one's orange, and this one's blue, so we can use that. And we have blue, matching to blue, and you're going to look on top and see that that's orange. And since the orange is on my left side, I'm going to use my left hand. So what you'll do is you'll turn the top to the right. You'll bring this up, you'll turn the top to the right again, and you'll bring that back down. This has disrupted the white side. So we're going to do what we learned in the last step. And we have the white and the orange matching to the blue. So we're going to match it to the orange. And do the same thing that we did in the last step. So now it's back on the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing that we just did. This is orange, but this is yellow, so we can't use that. This is green, and this is red, so we can use that. The red is matching to the green, so we have to match it to the red. Now it's matching to the red. So what we're going to do now is, since the green is on our right side, we're going to use our right hand. So we'll turn the top that way. We'll turn this up, turn this around, and turn it back down. This has disrupted the order of the white side. So we're going to do what we learned in the last step. We're going to turn it to the green since the green is on the other side of the white. We're going to bring this up, bring it around, and back down. And we're going to keep doing what we're doing. And sometimes you will find that there are no pieces that are yellow. I don't have that right now, but in case that does happen, um, if it does happen to me, I will show you how to fix that. So right now, we have blue on the top and red on the bottom, so we can use this. So uh, red is matching to the green, so we'll match it to the red. Now it's matching to the red, so we look on top and we have blue. So since the blue is on my left side, I'm going to use my left hand. I'm going to turn the top around, bring this up, bring it back around, bring it back down, bring this around, bring it up, around, and back down. And that second part that I did uh, was just fixing the white side again, like we learned in a few other step, in a few steps ago. I'm probably not going to have any that are just yellow, so I'll just teach you how to do that. What you're going to do is if you have yellow on top and a color, or a color on top and then a yellow here, what you're going to do is you're going to go to where there's a piece that you need, and you're going to go to that the side that it's on, you're going to bring it up, around, back down, and you'll fix the white side like you learned in the last step. And what this does is it should open up a color, which is for me orange on top, green on the bottom. Green is matching to the red, so I'll match it to the green. Now, since the orange is on my left, I mean my right side, I will use my right hand bring it around and fix the white side and now you can just keep doing that step so 
green and orange is on my right side. I don't know why I did that again, but um, use my right hand. Fix the white side. And now what we just did is we solved the second layer of everything. Plus the white is still solved. Now we're going to learn algorithms, which is a uh, uh, kind of like this. Uh, right would be, um, uh, if you see like, because I'm going to put up the algorithms, and R would mean right clockwise, which would look like this, like, regular, like clockwise, like a clock. If you see uh, L, that would be left clockwise, which would look like that. U would mean upper clockwise, I mean, yeah, upper clockwise, which would look like this. Um, if you see a, a B, it would be uh, back clockwise, which would look like that. And if you see an F, that would mean front clockwise, which looks like that. And uh, if you see a little uh, dash on top, that means prime, which is something uh, counterclockwise. So right prime would look like this, going uh, counterclockwise. Now what you want here is an L up in the a backwards L up in the uh, corner. I'm lucky that I have that right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to go. Excuse me, I never really teach this, so I, I'm used to doing it on my own. So it's going to probably take a while for me to figure this out. You're going to go R, no. Sorry, let me pause this for a minute. Okay, sorry about that. So, you're going to have the backwards L, and you're going to go F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime, and you'll have a little cross on the yellow side. So, what you're going to want to do here is on the left side, you want a yellow piece right here. This one is green, so you can't use it. I'm going to turn it. This one's blue, can't use that. This one is yellow. So now, you're going to go R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Now, you should have a corner that's yellow. You're going to want that in the bottom left corner. So turn the cube until it's in the bottom left corner, but to you it looks like the top. So now you're going to do that same uh, algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. So now you solve the whole yellow side. Now you want to look for two pieces here that are the same. This one's blue and this one's green, so they don't match. This one's green and this one's orange, they don't match. This one's red and this one's red, but they're matching to the orange side. So we're going to match them to the red side. So now they're at the red side. Now we're going to do another algorithm. You can go R prime, no. Hold on, I have to think about this one now. I'll be right back. Okay, so since I had to pause it, now we're going to be working with green. So it's going to go R prime, F, R prime, B2, R, F prime, R prime, B2, R2. So now, you should have one side with the top 
fully solved and everything should have two corners. So the solved one is red, but it's matching the blue. So I'm going to turn it to red. Now the red side is solved and the corners of everything else are solved. So we're going to have the solved side to the back. And now we're going to do an algorithm. So we're going to go F2. And since this is blue and the blue is on my right, I'm going to turn the top clockwise. Now we have U, R, uh, R prime, L, F2, R prime, I mean R, L prime, turn the top clockwise, and F2. Now the Rubik's Cube is completely solved. Now, if you happen to have the side on the left side, the only thing that you're going to do different is turn the top counterclockwise. I hope that I explained that good, because I really wanted to be the best Rubik's Cube solver explainer on YouTube. So, I hope that you guys understand what I did. Bye.